Welcome back, guys. Check out this video on a landlord's nightmare. Kept getting these water bills, you know, of like 1200 1300 Went back and forth with the utility company. They sent people out like, oh, there's no leak. And I was like, well, well how is this? Like, well, they have to be using the water. And I'm like, it's, it's a duplex. There's like three people that are living in this. And she's like, well, I think you need to send a plumber in there to see if there's like any kind of leak. And I did the math. Well, the water usage is the equivalent of filling up 14 residential swimming pools. If this was a leak, my building would be floating down the, the road. Oh, there's no way it could be a leak and I went over there and I could hear the water running inside I sat out there and I waited hours for the uh, tenant to get home and said could hear your water you know running in your unit she acted like oh my gosh it was a it was an accident but no she was upset about collection efforts because she had not paid her rent so whenever she was leaving to go to work she was turning on both bathrooms in the kitchen sink and running the water all day because me the owner had to pay all right, before Kirby jumps into this, Kirby always sounds like an evil landlord. Like, he's just, give me my money or get out of here. And I understand now, as I see more and more, why he's evil. <laughs> because tenants can be evil, too. This is crazy. I mean, I couldn't imagine if I had to deal with this situation. Kirby knows how cheap I am. This would piss me off so bad. <laughs> You know, this would have me so pissed. But I remember, too, when I first started, you always say utilities have to be pushed off onto the tenant. If it's if there's only one meter, get it separated. Like you do not want to be dealing with the water bill with any bill in that unit or in that property. And I understand. I mean, before even seeing this video, it made sense. But now seeing this video, man, they could pay all the utilities. Uh, well, unfortunately, I didn't get to see this video before I bought, I think it was my fifth property, fifth or six. It was a fourplex. Um, I had a similar situation, but I didn't have the tenant upset because I was trying to collect rent that they just left the water running. But I had a fourplex where it was only one meter. And that's how I was able to tell you, don't, don't get the meter separated. So I had a fourplex that only had one meter and Every time I'm going to the property manager to get their rent, I always will see the rent is way below what needs what it should be. And I always look at the bills and it was a water bill. And then I would talk to the property manager. Of course, this property manager was no longer with me. Uh, but I've talked to the property manager and he's like, yeah, that water bill is getting high. And I said, I did the same thing. Check to see if there's leaks or anything like that. There's no leaks. And then one day it's about two and a half hours away drive. So, Alex, you know how I like to do stakeouts. So what I did was one day, this was a Friday. It was a Friday. Uh, I went up there and I just sat on the corner and I just watched. I just watched. And the units had washers and dryers in them also. So I'm just sitting there watching. And this is about seven, eight o'clock at night. And then I'm just seeing people going into like two units but they have baskets of clothes. And then I'm thinking like, okay, those might be the tenants because of course I got property managers, so I don't know what the tenants look like. But then I start seeing people from across the street coming over there too with clothes. And it's just a, a cycle. So I'm so I'm sitting there and I'm just like, heck no. So I was like, forget this. I'm gonna get a hotel. I'm coming back tomorrow to see if the same thing going. And then everybody is coming to wash their clothes in there because of course the tenant don't have to pay the water. So next thing you know, I'm looking, I'm getting five, six, seven hundred dollar water bills. And I'm I think I'm only I'm about four or five months into the unit. And I'm seeing the water bill is outrageously high. And but then I see why. Everybody's washing their clothes. The whole neighborhood washed their clothes. Because these people, I guess, they were friends with everybody. They knew the landlord was paying for the water. The washing machines was already in there before they got there. So it wasn't like it was wearing tear on their stuff. And everybody was just using the water, using the water, using the water. So what ended up happening is, unfortunately, I mean, but it was a blessing in disguise. The unit, the fourplex ended up burning down. It ended up burning down. Uh, tenant kids was playing or whatever. Uh, but it burned down. So when I rebuilt the fourplex, I paid an extra $6,000 just to get the meter separated. And then I did the math on there. If I'm paying, you know, six, seven hundred dollars a month in uh, water, 
those those meters pay for themselves in 10 months. And everything else from then on out, I will not acquire a property if it's only one meter. Everything has to be separated and tenant has to pay for it because I'm not paying for your lifestyle. What you choose to do and things like that. But when you say mean landlord or whatever, it's just I've seen so much in the you know the little time I've been doing this that it's just some things are just non-starters with me. And separate meters is a must. I'm not paying for utilities because they know if you got one meter for electricity and you're not passing that off and you say, oh, I'll pay for the electricity. You're going to drive past your property and you're going to see lights on 24 seven because they don't have to pay it. But then you're a mean landlord when you say, oh, where's the rent? Then you'll get mad if the lights get cut off because your rent don't cover the light bill. So that's a yeah non-starter on set. On, if it's if it's one single meter, no way in hell. Yeah, man. Yeah, that that's a crazy situation. Luckily, I haven't had to deal with that. All my, you know, units are separately. Uh, you know, they all pay the utilities. But, but yeah, that that's crazy. I mean, how it shows you how tenants are vindictive. Like they they are spiteful if you piss them off <laughs> like they will just if they know that they can do it they will and it's just a it's a crazy way to think because like especially in that case like in your scenario where they're just giving you know they're just letting the whole neighborhood wash their clothes it's like that's a full-blown laundromat in there yeah like yeah like and i mean it's like do they think that the landlord is like a trillion dollar corporation you know it's like it's crazy how people can just think that that's like even remotely okay to just like abuse, you know, what they're given basically. And I, right. that's, that's insane. Yeah. And, and that's, and that's what it is, is most people that rent from other people think the person that they rent from, they just have all this money. And again, when, you, when you don't see the financial burden, you don't care. Like me, I'm walking around my house, cutting off lights all the time. But my son, who don't have to pay the financial burden for it, he just keep the light on, cut them on, and keep on walking. Keep cut them on, keep on walking. That's that's just the nature of the beast. If it's not something that's affecting you, then you don't know. But then people want to get upset when rents go higher. I always try to tell tenants: if you take care of the property and you keep the expenses low on me, I can turn around and keep the expenses low on you. But if you make the expenses higher on me, then I have to in turn pass that cost off to you. That's how it all works. I mean, I have, like I said, I still manage two of the properties because they're close to me. Those two tenants understand exactly what I mean because they rarely call. I mean, if something's wrong, something's wrong. I always say, if you see something, call it out. I'd rather fix it when it's a small problem until it grows into a big problem. But the tenants that I have in the complex that I have my units in that I still manage, my tenants pay four to five hundred dollars less per month than other tenants in the same complex because they keep my expenses low if you don't do that then your rent's going to keep rising and rising and rising and if you don't pay it you can go somewhere else but somebody will pay it and then we can start this process all over again but it's a simple it's a simple formula that a lot of tenants don't understand because it's not their obligation it's not quote unquote theirs to deal with so they don't take care of it as neither. Absolutely. With all that means that you guys if you like the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.